Hi Aries, welcome to your general forecast for the end of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you know or returning, thank you, thank you. So Aries, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. And it could be love, it could be general, career, finance, it could be anything. We're just going to take it as it comes. This is a general reading. It's not a private reading. And uh, it's for the collective. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, male or female, Past, this could be past, present, or future, however it resonate, resonates for you. But please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. If it's not resonating for you, then it's not your story. So please don't try to make it fit if it's not making sense for you. And maybe uh, the next reading will. Or you could go back and watch past readings. Uh, links are below in the description box for your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, so social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift. Um, all that information is below in the description box as well as the pinned top comment. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal for uh, an energy exchange or a donation, um, Super Chat is open and available during the premiere only. So during that time, if you want to energy exchange or donate, um, you can do it with Super Chat. And if you do, thank you. So Aries, let's see what's going on for you. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. and see if this energy is around you at this time for some of you. And if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. And then with the um, Oracle deck here, we'll get an opening message for you. And then we'll get one for your current energy. And then we'll clarify with Tarot your current energy. Whatever comes out, the situ well, then we'll look at the situation, advice, possible outcome, extra messages with the healing fairies. And then I have these cards that I just bought at the Dollar Tree, actually. And they're uh, prayer cards, or you could call them affirmation cards. I'll pull one of those at the end for you as a affirmation or a little prayer. If you would like to see that all right aries so let's see for aries sun moon rising venus jupiter what is around aries at this time for some of you you could get a sign element or planet spirit for aries please at this time thank you so much okay there we go and we have mars which i believe is your energy yeah that's your energy mars is your energy aries so the energy of Aries, so you may be really coming into your energy, coming into your own at this time. Aries and Mars is all about um, having competitiveness, assertion, um, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, and strength. So that's like really going forward with purpose and using all those powerful energies to move forward. Because Aries is the emperor in the uh, major arcana of the tarot so and you see that looks like a warrior so all right so let's get an opening energy for you aries opening energy for you aries let's see what's going on opening message for aries spirit please thank you so much i just feel like one more shuffle and i did get over the flu about three four weeks ago and i do have a lingering cough and congestion so if you hear me cough periodically through the reading i'm sorry i'm apologizing in advance i can't really help it so please be patient any negative comments will be deleted so okay so aries aries let's get opening energy opening message for you aries spirit what is the most needed opening message for aries at this time spirit please one card for aries please thank you so much Okay, feeling that one. Strength. In, <laughs> it is about strength also with that um, Mars, with that assertion and, you know, moving forward fearlessly. So we have strength here. 11, Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So, you know, that's being brave and strong and courageous, taming the beast from within. Um, self-confidence, but yet being kind and forgiving. Yeah, really strong, strong energy. All right. I feel like you're feeling really strong and powerful at this time, Aries. Like you're ready to conquer the world. Are you ready to conquer the world, Aries? Let's see what's going on. So let's get your opening. Or this is telling you to get in this energy. So let's see what... Yeah, wow. So this is your energy right now. It's the Four of Wands, Four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from run in some situations so this is the four of wands energy this is my twin flame card but like i said we're going to take this um however it comes it may not be about love but the four of wands is about 
the home life, stability in your home life. Uh, it can be about ceremony, celebrations. It can be about commitment, marriage, or just being very stable and grounded in your life in general. You know, feeling at the base level, very secure and grounded and uh, stable. Wow. Feeling like abundant rewards for all your hard work. So, and then here at the bottom, we have, sorry about the glare. We have the hangman perspective, Archangel Chamuel. There's a better way, pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So, you know, the hangman can be about being on a pause, a break, things being a little still and stagnant. So maybe there was a time here where things were kind of still stagnant and maybe you had a pause for reflection, gain new perspectives, uh, gain enlightenment over a situation which allowed you to gather up your strength and confidence and really now take charge and uh, be this warrior and to your stability here. So let's see what's going on. Let's clarify with the tarot for Aries. I want to say thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel in whichever way you've done that. And for reaching 10,000 subscribers, I am having a giveaway where you can win a free tarot deck and also a free 20 minute reading by me of your choice. And it'll be open through March. So if you'd like to participate in the giveaway, check the description box and the pin top comment on how to enter. And uh, if you do, thank you and good luck to you. Like I said, it's open through March. <clears throat> okay, Aries. What is this energy about for Aries? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is this energy about for Aries? Why do we have the Knight of Cups? So, yeah, so the strength here tells you strength and grace through kindness. And the Knight of Cups is moving forward. And it's in a loving energy. It's peaceful. It's calm. It's happy, it's joyous, it's about love and emotions, and, you know, moving forward peacefully in a, a very, very compassionate, like, energy. So, all right, so why, what else here? So now we do have Page of Cups. So this is an offer coming in. could be an apology, or it could be very loving communication. We have two people here looking at each other. This could be a child, children. Apologies, a love offer, just loving, peaceful communication. All right, so let's see before we piece this all together. Six of Cups, wow. So again, this could have to do with people, places, things, family from the past. Something here could have to do with something in a past life. But Six of Cups is about everything from the past, family, friend, coworker, your childhood home, your childhood. So something with the past here. So let's see what else is going on. Oh, some cards flipped over here. All right. Wow. So, well, we have the Ace of Cups. So that's a brand new beginning in love. Oh, this is way too many here. Big clump, but I'll take that one because that one was by itself. So this could be peace, harmony, balance, uh, happy, joyous, fulfillment, spiritual fulfillment, or an actual brand new beginning in love with a soulmate from the past, Six of Cups energy, now moving forward in love. And here's the loving communication. The Four of Wands could be, you know, marriage, ceremonies, commitment. This is my twin flame card. So in strength here with 11, 11 is half of the twin flame number. So maybe someone's here finally gained perspective and realizes a strong bond here and realizes, wow, this is my soulmate twin flame. So now I'm coming forward with the offer of love, taking the movement forward in love to my soulmate twin flame for this brand new beginning in love. It's exactly a lot of all cups. So this in the four of wands, strength. Wow. Okay. There could be marriage. There could be commitment of some kind. Coming in, what else? Four of Pentacles. So somebody's been holding back about this. Maybe not sure, but the hangman definitely could have gained that perspective. Now wants equal balance, equal give and take. 
reciprocity, things balancing out here with the Six of Pentacles, because you see in this Six of Pentacles, the scales are even, they're balanced. Sometimes in other decks, they're not balanced, but they are here. So somebody was holding back because we go to four to the six. So now somebody is balancing out this energy. Possible soulmate to inflame energy here. I mean, the pentacles can be about work, career, finance. But we have a lot of cups here in the four of wands. So let's see. Let's get the actual situation for Aries spirit, please. Thank you so much. Now the ten of pentacles. So this is the marriage card with the four of wands. This is the legacy of a family dynamic. Marriage. Combining everything together. Um, two people coming together here to share a lifetime. And to leave a legacy of a family dynamic. Knight of Swords. Somebody rushing in, or this could move forward very, very quickly. Rushing in with truth, clarity kind of energy. Yeah, somebody uh, been left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles. So, so far we have Pentacles and Cups. Wow. So, so some of you, half of you, this could be about work, career, finance. Half of you, this could be about a love situation. So, some of you who maybe been out of job for a while, Something was going to come in for you, which was going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles, lifelong stability. Things will finally balance out for you. Not having to worry for the long term, being stable for the long term. It'll come in unexpectedly and move forward very quickly after a period of being maybe unemployed or worrying about your finances. It could be a resurrection of um, something from the past or maybe going back to an old job that you had when you were very young or somebody you've known since childhood or something like that all of a sudden unexpectedly comes in with an offer of work or something like that. Wow, okay. For some of you, this is definitely somebody rushing in here now, not wanting to be left out in the cold anymore. Or somebody waiting for somebody to finally rush in with an offer. And here it comes. So yeah, the Ten of Swords... And the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody worried here with the Ten of Swords that this connection is just over. It's done. It's not going to happen. Like putting their head down and giving up and saying, well, this isn't going to happen. Then all of a sudden, bam, here comes the offer. Again, this could be marriage. A marriage proposal or an offer or a commitment for the long term. It's stable. It's serious. It's sincere. And here it is. Here is the Ace to the ten. You get the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. So some of you, that is that new job offer coming in, thinking, you know, um, some of you thinking it's over for you. You're never going to come out of this. Maybe your finances are, are not in a good place. Uh, maybe you've been unemployed for, you know, a while here, maybe up to five months. And you're like, you know, maybe this is just it for me. And then bam, all of a sudden, quickly out of nowhere, here comes a stable offer for the long term that will bring balance back into your life. And some, this is reconnection of a soulmate, twin flame for the long term. Somebody wanting now to bring the balance, to bring the commitment, to bring the marriage, to bring something here. Wow. Okay. This, this dove is really, like, really, really speaking to me for peace, harmony, uh, bliss. All right. So let's get advice for you, Aries. The Three of Pentacles. So here's teamwork, collaboration, learning something new. Some of you will be working at mastering a new craft, working on a new connection. Here, definitely here with the Three of Pentacles coming together and working on something. You know, however it means for you, it's either a new career or a job, learning and mastering it, or working together on a um, relationship. Seven of Cups energy. So... This is your advice. So you may be feeling a little confused or daydreamy or, you know, <clears throat> this could be about options, decisions. So let's get a couple more before we piece this advice. Okay. So we have healing, rest, rejuvenation. All right. So let's get one more. 
nine of swords okay so i feel like here your advice is as much as you've been kind of kind of in this hanged man energy of just resting recuperating healing and thinking contemplating praying you know what's going to happen am i going to get this new job is this soulmate connection going to come back together stress worry fear anxiety not sleeping at night being very nervous sitting there wondering looking at all your options looking at everything that's gone on you know what is going to happen here but spirit wants you to know as much as you're in that energy that you will be working on something in the future not to give up whether it's a new job or a new connection here you will have the ace all the way to the 10 the long term wow so let's get let's get possible outcome for you aries page of swords so you know you could be um you know researching online maybe you're looking and looking for a job you're applying and you're applying and you're applying online and nothing's coming through you could be watching if some of you this is about love you could be watching a person online keeping tabs on them but also this is honest truthful communication coming in um also so let's see possible so some sort of communication coming in all right so it's honest it's truthful justice so justice will prevail here things will balance out you will get you will have this going in your favor truth enlightenment clarity balancing out of the energy so you will be getting this job offer whatever here or a love offer or proposal for some of you so this mars energy it could be your person i mean they don't necessarily have to be in aries but your person definitely is looking at you aries and ready you've been waiting for them to come in and charge forward <coughs> realizing the strong bond gaining a new perspective and now wanting to teach take charge right into you aries wow for some of you so let's get one more for your possible outcome eight of pentacles so again putting in the de dedicated effort and the hard work into a situation here so it's either a new job a new career or a new love or a uh, rekindle of an old love or coming back together balancing out getting the justice working on it honest communication for those who have been applying for a job online been applying and applying and applying you will get your justice you will get that offer and you'll be working and mastering something it could be something new something you never did before so that's why we have the three of learning something new and then the eight of mastering that so you will master it you will become good at what you're going to do here no matter what you're doing i think it may be something new especially with the ace of pentacles something totally different that you've never done before all right let's see what's at the bottom yeah you've been waiting so you've been waiting for this person to return or this opportunity uh to come in for that ship to come in it is there and you may not even see it but it's coming in for you you will be moving forward maybe again you've been waiting a long time it's been slow moving here for either this love offer to come in or this new career opportunity come in you've been through the ringer here either in love or in your career finances really struggling feeling hot broken sad and you know wondering you know is this it for me will i never be with my love and will i you know ever get back on my feet and then we have the four of wands repeating here so yes you will you will be stable you'll be grounded happy home and family um in all ways celebrating my twin flame card again coming up we have it twice you will be the king of pentacles strong stable and grounded abundant making your money prosperity some of you may be single and having this new job finally coming into you now being independent taking care of yourself having everything you need being abundant again being self-reliant and independent so things closing out with the world chapters closing new chapters beginning and now moving forward a lot of drive passion excitement finally being able to lay down all the heavy burdens that were weighing you down so yeah and then some being trapped in their head and caught up about a lover will they return and the answer is yes because we have the lovers here 
somebody making the decision with the two of wands to come back into soulmate to inflame union or now you know some of you could have two career opportunities come in and needing to decide between two career opportunities kind of stuck in your head i don't know which way to go but you will pick pick away here and you will walk towards the eight of cups energy what is meant what you feel is meant for you wow so we have gemini we have leo sag aries we have leo scorpio aquarius and taurus we have virgo taurus capricorn uh virgo taurus capricorn again we have pisces here we have leo there aries again there uh cancer scorpio pisces a lot of that energy Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Libra. What was over here? All right, so those are the main energies. We have almost all the signs here anyway, but let's get some closing energies for you here. Aries, Aries, Aries. Closing messages, Aries, and then we'll get a prayer affirmation for you to close it out. So I do ask Aries, especially if you're new, if you like uh, my style, how I read, um, well, please feel free to um, check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Right now, I do about four or five readings a month, two love, two general, and a bonus. I may be switching it up. But if you go onto the community tab of my channel, I have two polls I would like everybody to participate in. It would give me better clarity what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And also I've been thinking about doing the extendeds on Vimeo. So if you're interested in that also, please go over there and vote in the two polls. And if you do, thank you. All right, so what do we have? We have three cards here. We have inner child. So again, with the um, Six of Cups energy here, inner child, or this you know, could be things of your childhood or things from the past, I'm getting with that, or reawakening like your childhood um innocence again for life we have self-reliance so some of you will are single and will be uh self-reliant here you will have this new career or a something opportunity that comes that will make you self-reliant for the long term so there's no need to worry there and some of you this romantic partner is coming back to you <coughs> the soulmate or twin flame is coming back for a union right here this romantic partner so what else do we have for Aries for Aries any other messages for Aries there we go parenting and children so some of you could have children with this person and now maybe you may be t coming together now to be a true partnership to uh, your children, which may include marriage, a long-term commitment for some of you, or you could have children with this person in the future. And now we do have peace of mind. So just to know you will have peace of mind in whatever your situation is, if it's love or if it's um, career, finance, whatever, just to know you will have peace of mind and you will be self-reliant in this romantic partner is coming in you could have a family children long term with this person all right so let's get one of these for you aries let's get a prayer affirmation for you aries all right let's take this one And today's prayer or affirmation, however you want to call it, where God guides, he provides. So just know wherever you're guided to is going to provide you with everything that you need. And it's probably being divinely orchestrated, even though you may not see it or feel it. Justice is coming in for you here. So just know that. Just know that that you will be provided for. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.